टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट दी अग्नि फाइव मिसाइल एक्चुअली यस्टरडे दिस इज लॉन्च बाय द डीआरडीओ फ्रॉम द एक्चुअली ओडिशा कोस्ट सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट बिफोर वी गो एड वी हैव टू लुक एट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ अग्नि अग्नि मिसाइल्स एंड दैट्स व्हाई वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ अग्नि फाइव मिसाइल बिकॉज चाइना हैज रेज कंसर्न अबाउट द अग्नि फाइव मिसाइल सो रिमेंबर दैट Uh, it develops under the integrated it develops under the integrated guided missile development program and which is the given by the honorable sir uh, apj abdul kalam and remember that so this is very very important what is the main job of the integrated guided missile development program is provide the self sufficiency in the missile system so this is very important so the first agni missile launched under the this uh, igmdp is the range of 700 to 800 km secondly the agni second is 2000 km and agni third is 2500 to 3000 km and if you talk about the agni 4 3500 to 4000 km and recently yesterday launched the agni 5 uh, 5000 km so if you look all this this is the highest range so what happened the mainland china so if you talk about this is india and here is the all the so all the missiles so these all the agni 4 to agni agni 1 to agni 4 is not capable to reach in the northern part of china as well as the northeastern part of china so it doesn't cover the whole of mainland china that's why agni 5 is very important because it covers the whole uh, mainland china and that's why uh, china has raised the concern and agni 5 is also special because it is the first intercontinental ballistic missile first intercontinental ballistic missile which not only covers all of the mainland china but also the parts of europe as well as the in the southern hemisphere also the parts of africa so this is very important as i have told you all the agni 1 to 4 are not cover all the mainland of china that's why agni 5 is important because it cover all the mainland china no especially the north part and north eastern part and parts of europe and africa so this is what is the main significance of agni 5 missile so if you talk about the features of the agni 5 missile then remember that it is india's first intercontinental ballistic missile india's first intercontinental ballistic missile what do you mean by the intercontinental means from one continent to another continent so this is known as the intercontinental or if there is a intracontinental means within the continent so this is that's why so here suppose the asia now is capable to target in the europe as well as the africa so this is what do you mean by the intercontinental ballistic missile remember that it is also a nuclear capable nuclear capable the key word is the long range surface to surface missile long range surface to surface means if this is the surface then it will go to the in a projectile manner or this is this is what is the trajectory which is kind of parabola trajectory so this is and again heat will if there is a tank or something like that in the surface then this is known as the surface to surface missile so this is all about remember that there is a three stage solid fueled engine and that all are the solid sometimes you find there is a one solid two liquid two solid and one liquid but there is the all are the solid engine and customized missile what do you mean by the customized missile customized missile is basically a cover given to the missile which is uh, through that we can easily transport the missile and can then uh, fire to the target so this is what do you mean by customized missile basically it is smooth the transport of missile and as i told you the range is 5000 km officially so someone is saying it is around the 5000 to 5500 and someone is saying 5000 to 8000 km but official 5000 km warhead is 1500 kg and launch weight is around the 15000 kg which is making the most potent missile in future if it will target remember that nuclear capable countries if you talk about nuclear capable missile countries then obviously the china france india israel uk usa russia and pakistan and north korea you need to remember that both rival countries or you can say the most dangerous countries of neighboring countries of india china and pakistan both have the nuclear capability missile if we talk about the intercontinental ballistic missile countries then here pakistan is not there pakistan doesn't have the intercontinental ballistic missile so countries are united kingdom russia obviously india after this agni 5 it is the first intercontinental ballistic missile 
यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका नॉर्थ कोरिया चाइना एंड दी फ्रांस तो हेयर इज चाइना इज अवेलेबल बट पाकिस्तान इज नॉट अवेलेबल दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो We have talked about the Agni Five missile. What you need, what things you need to remember, or you can say the summary of this video. Agni Five is the first new uh, intercontinental ballistic missile, as well as the uh, nuclear capable long range surface to surface missile. Very important, surface to surface missile. Range is five thousand kilometer, and obviously there are Agni One, Agni Two, Agni Three, and Agni Five. What is the main significance? It can cover the all of the mainland China, especially the north. North and North Eastern part, or also can target hit can hit the target in Europe as well Africa. So thank you guys. Hope you like this video. You should subscribe my channel. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video.